<laughs> Are you shouting it? We're out, we're out, it's Dina. The thing. The thing! You did nothing! Yeah, but you walked in with it like that. Walked into the studio. I've already said it. Or you can watch at home with the Buckleys on YouTube. Beautiful, wherever you are, I believe that the heart will once more. You've opened that door, then my heart will, the heart will go on. Are you recording? I'm recording the vlog to dear. Oh, I'm going to be Eddie better then. Oh, for the love of God. Happy New Year! Ah, oh, too late for that. Too late for Happy New Year. Hey, hello. Well, it's the, you know, it's the first vlog of 2022. It is. 2022, eh? God, where's the year gone? Eh? God, it's gone so quick. <laughs> oh dear. We're going to make some ice cream as well. We are going to make ice cream. The kids got an ice cream maker for Christmas. It's not in there. Just show them the box. It's not, it's not plugging them. No, I just thought that's what you were doing. No, the, the uh, No, it? Santa brought this. The source ho wholesale. I um, think you can get them on Amazon. Treat factory, manufactured by the source wholesale, so. Okay, well you were the one that just said we're no fogging them. No, but I'm just them. telling them, if they want to give me some money, then go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you shouting it? That's how we do it. that's how we do our business deals. That's how we get <laughs> that's how we get people to sponsor our videos. Speaking of sponsors, new oh. year, same Buckleys. Guess who's sponsoring this video? Oh, God bless them! God bless those guys, Surfshark. <laughs> Should we cut to a little Surfshark hey. ad right now? Yeah, check out the Surfshark ad and then try not to come back. <laughs> come over here, Claire. So I'd like to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this week's vlog. <laughs> hey, um, if you don't have a VPN, might I suggest Surfshark VPN? Go and check them out. Um, with a VPN, you can do things like watch Netflix, like American American Netflix, what they've got going on in America, and yep. you can also you it's a good way to book flights slightly cheaper and things yep. like that. It also protects your data. Data is very very important. I, I got to be honest, I wouldn't know what to do if somebody gave me a load of data. I, I don't know how it makes money, but it's, you know, people want your data and they want to nick it from you. So if you use a VPN and you're using a shared Wi-Fi yeah. in a bar or Public something. Public Wi-Fi, that's how they get it. Yeah, so it will protect people from being able to get their little hands on your beautiful, beautiful data. <laughs> Surfshark are offering three months free and 83% off, which is a great deal if you use <laughs> the code the Buckleys. Do you use that code? Um, that's the only way you get that deal. <laughs> Not sure that's true. Well, it is on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> so the link's in the description. Quite a few people have already let me know that they have been using it, to mm. be fair. Let us know if you've got involved with Surfshark recently, uh, and if it was because of us, that means that we can go, you know, we can go to other people and go, look, we... See? You know, this isn't just a joke. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much Surfshark for sponsoring another video. Yes. There you go, some Surfshark information for you, some very important Surfshark information. I um, wonder who did the ad read near you. It won't be me. Right. Can you make some ice cream then? Yeah, so... I'm not sure about this, Claire. I've never heard of rolled ice cream You've before. never seen that before? It was all over social media. People were rolling ice cream into little things That'd for I've not seen it then. For ages. Let's make some ice cream. What did you need to get? You needed to get some special milk or something, is that right? I don't know, I came home last night and I saw some white boxes, white, big white cartons yeah, in the fridge. Yeah, let's talk about you coming home last night. What? Why were you late last night? We're out with our lads, didn't I? 
You're always out and about gallivanting, aren't yeah, you? With the lads. Yeah, I went to a little boozer in Soho. Where they drink champagne and it tastes just like cherry cake. <laughs> right, oh, we did, oh, we didn't meet any Lolas, did, did you? I did indeed. <laughs> right, this is apparently ice cream mix. You want to shout my little angels? No, your babies. My babies. <laughs> James always makes fun of me because I call them my babies. Boys! Boys! Can they do chocolate flavour? This is chocolate flavour. Yes! Managing angel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me help you. He's already done it. <laughs> My sandal. Oh, James, help him! You're so annoying. Right. Is this going to be another one of those things that just doesn't work? Possibly. Like I the, did. The slush puppy thing. Yeah. Happens. We did have a slush puppy machine and it just did not work. Gosh. Right, you got these out. Where's <laughs> the thing? The thing! Is that it in, in the fridge? It's in the freezer. Oh, freezer. Why? Right, hold on. Because that's where you're. Can I just read the instructions? Need instructions? You whack the thing down, you pour that stuff on, you scoop it up, bish bash bosh. <laughs> right, well, this isn't chocolate flavoured, this is vanilla. Oh! oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. So you pull that on there, yeah? It looks like it looks like a oh, start of a some bowls or something, don't we? There's something happening underneath. Oh god, it's freezing. Oh, she's messed it up. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Parmesan shaving. I'll take it. Should we get a little spoon? Do you like your t-shirt? Thank you. I can't even have t-shirt like that. It's good. Can I? Can I? Can we try? Good. It's, yeah. it's actually better than I expected. Oh my God. So you've bought three cartons of that stuff? Well, they came in threes. Because we're done now, aren't we? We're never going to do this again, are we? <laughs> This is it. That's as good as it gets. I'll I'm sure the, the boys want a ton at making it. Oh, buddy. You make nice and thick. I reckon you could fill it up a little bit more. So, mum, mum. while we've all been talking here, Jude's just demolished that bowl of ice cream. <laughs> right, you're rolling, James. Is it set? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not as easy as it looks, is it? Oh, gosh. Can I try? Yeah. Right here, let me let you can do it. Alright, let's put it away now. <laughs> You're so let's put it away. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh! 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 Oh god. Oh. What? Oh jeez. Oh, the... Claire, save me! The carpet's slipping! The... the carpet slipped when I was leaning on the side there. You did nothing. Have you got. What is the matter with you today? I know, I'm in a bit of a silly mood. Yeah, you're in a really silly mood. Addison, <laughs> Addison. Yeah, okay, no, okay. Don't. Oh, no, no. Addison, get that footage up. No, you don't. Took me earlier. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. Don't do that. Turn it up.
<laughs> that's, what, that's the sort of stuff you've been doing today. You've got your kid head on, haven't you? Yeah. Um, you were out with Tom last night again. The film master. How is he? I watched the um, Harry Potter reunion. You did? I did. I've not watched it yet. It was good. He's so sweet. I love Tom. Oh my god, that boy is brilliant. How was it? What, what did you do last night? Just went for a pint. Just had a couple of pints. Nice. A little chat. And Martin was there as well, our friend Martin. But what did you do? Just went to one pub? Yeah, we you just didn't go around anywhere? No. Didn't end up in a strip club or anything? No. <laughs> Although we did strip. <laughs> but that was something, that was a different story. Oh, me and the boys went to see the new Spider Man movie yesterday. While you were. Mm. On stage. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was good. You said it was a bit annoying because there was some bloke sat next to you that kept whistling through his nose. Yeah, there was. <laughs> you, you know were. when you you know when you're breathing through your nose <coughs> and you get a little whistle? Like the first thing, as soon as I get that, I'm like, oh You might have a deviated septum. Right, maybe fine. I I wasn't I just told you. But he was proper. You didn't just tell me, you were Angry. It was annoying. I actually made Harrison swap seats with me and I put Harrison, I put Harrison next, next, sit next to him. I put Harrison next to him because I was. Strange whistling man. I know, but I was going to knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to shove popcorn up his nose. And then, obviously, Spider Man, you know, it's action, a lot of loud noises, a lot of fighting, all that sort of stuff. This guy waits for like the one quiet sort of emotional part of the film and then start struggling with some packet of some sort. I was like, oh, he was getting on my last nerve. Yeah, I look forward to seeing it. This is that. why you don't go to the cinema, you just wait and you just buy it and you watch it in comfort. Don't you don't say know. that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, yeah, unless it's James's <laughs> film. Don't when? say things like that. The cinema experience is one of the few lasting traditions over the last hundred years or so. It's something that we can all still enjoy and do. I don't know if you're sat next to Whistling Wally. I know, but and also I'm not one of those people that are like, food should be banned from... Oh no, I don't mind food. Popcorn and uh, the hot dog and stuff like that. Yeah. It's all part of going to the cinema. I'm not moaning about that, it's just people. <laughs> you get to watch it on a great big screen, the sound's brilliant. Jude actually said that it was too loud. <laughs> Jude was like, it's a bit loud, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Is he 80? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a bit loud. Eight going on, eh? What have you guys been doing? How or... was your Christmases? Yeah, how was Christmas? How, how was, was New, New Year? Year? What, have you, what have you got? What's your plan? What's your plan for 2022? If they're good plans, I might nick them. <laughs> yeah, is there anything to do? I might be interested. Me and James want to take the kids on holiday, like somewhere warm. Hang on, you didn't mention the kids. <laughs> Would you stop oh, with that? Well, I'm not going to bother there. <laughs> What's the point? Um, but yeah, we're still a little bit nervous about travelling. Not nervous, but still kind of, oh, is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But um, has anybody got any plans for this year? Yeah, let me know what if there's interesting things that you want to do this year. Not stuff that you're gonna do, because uh -huh. that's a different question. Because if you're anything like us, and I assume you are, you probably won't do any of it. But is there anything like, oh, 2022, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna yeah. go here. Right. I've got a couple of things I'm, I wanna do in 2022. New Year's resolutions? I guess so, yeah. I've, I've got never a couple. made a New Year's resolution. Neither have I. I am going to join a gym. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, mean it. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Yes. <laughs> Thank God! I didn't mean it like that. I meant, I, I think I found somewhere. Oh, okay. That's what I was about to say. Yes, I think I found somewhere. Oh. I was going to say, yes. <laughs> you need to get to the gym ASAP. I need to, I mean, I did that. I started doing my couch to 5K thing you last year. You went on it once? Twice. But I don't know what it is about our garage. Every time I clear it all out, a week later, it, it's 
fill up with crap again. If this is you moaning about the Christmas stuff being out there, I'm gonna slap you in the face because I done this whole house by myself. I took down every decoration by myself and I took it all out to the garage by myself. So if you're moaning about the fact that there's Christmas stuff in there. Turn that camera off. Hi, I will turn the camera off. <laughs> pigeons. Look at them walking along the fence. Yeah. That's how it's all cracked I up know, the top. I know, I know. It's, whoa, it's, you calm yourself off. Hold me back. Look, and it's a bit shit done it as well. Look at it put, putting its ass there. Yeah. Just bang it. Look, they don't care. It's not moving. You can't even scare a pigeon. <laughs> My God, it's actually not moving. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? What do you think of the hair? <laughs> I've just come off stage and uh, my hair gets wet at the end of the show. I won't tell you why, you've got to come and see it. Uh, but I'm in a hotel, I'm in another hotel! I'm in a hotel on Leicester Square. I've got to get up early tomorrow because I'm going to go on the Chris Moyles uh, breakfast show uh, on Radio X to try and convince people to come and see the, the show, the play. Um, but here we are, another hotel. What time is it? Quarter past ten. Quite late. I'm a little bit peckish. So I've just uh, just got a little Uber Chinese order. Treat myself, look after myself. eh? go crazy. First thing we need to check, coat hangers. Ah, there they are. <laughs> no one's going to steal these coat hangers because they don't look. They're, oh no, I want to nick that. Oh, but I can't because there's no <laughs> hook on the coat hanger. Genius. Absolutely genius. I've got my food turning up in about 20 minutes. Tomorrow, big day, big busy day. Very excited to go on the Chris Moore show. I've been on, I've been on his show once before. And I don't, I'm not a big fan of like PR stuff and interviews. Um, I find them very awkward and I, I get quite nervous about doing that sort of stuff. But last time I was on the Chris Moore show, he was really friendly and just really relaxed and made me just feel very welcome to be there and stuff. So I'm looking forward to doing that one again. All right, my food is here. I'm going to get that down me and um, get a good night's sleep. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you in the morning. Morning. The time is, uh, what is the time? The time is 10 past eight, but you'd think from the way I was feeling, it was half four in the morning or something. Absolutely knackered. I didn't get much sleep, but I planned ahead because I've got a show to do tonight and I can't be tired for that. So I've got a late checkout for this room. I've asked them and they very kindly said, yeah, you can have a late checkout. So just gonna come straight back here and hopefully maybe get another hour or two sleep. Oh, I gotta be there in nine minutes. Let's go. All right, I'm in the uh, the Radio X green room now. Got uh, Chris Moles there, and he's about to get us uh, copyright claimed. So I better stop. Right, I think someone's on their way to come and get me now to take me to the studio. This is the point where I get most nervous. I'm going to be on live radio, so you have to be sort of semi-entertaining. Well, fully entertaining. <laughs> but this is where I sit down. Usually before I do something where I'm about to be on live television or live radio or something like that, I sit down and I just remind myself, don't say or or, you know, any kind of swear word. You know, it wouldn't be the strangest thing in the world if I walked into this studio, banged my head on the microphone and went, oh, I love Radio X. I've been obsessed with Radio X for years since I was a teenager. Obviously, it was called XFM back then. Don't say Here he is. She's Natalie. Hey. Yeah. Welcome to this world. Oh, now. wow. Oh. <laughs> Uh -huh. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? Very, very uh, focused on you. This conversation. Because <laughs> I'm worried about. I don't, I'm worried about other. You know, it's I don't worry annoying about us. people walking around going like that. I don't worry about us. Yeah, I've but you walked sworn, in I've with it like that. Into, walked into a studio. I've already said F, the F word. That's right. We're not live yet. No, it's fine. Right. I want to get your reaction. So you're doing this for your YouTube channel. Yes. Aren't you currently 
thespianly treading the boards at the Gilgood Theatre. Yeah, but I'm trying to. I've got so many balls in the air, Chris. <laughs> 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 Where do you want me? I'll go and sit over there. How are you? I'm good. Is it? Is everyone all right? Yeah, yeah, thank you. What do you want to drink, James? Thank you very much. There you go, Richard Ashcroft yeah. and Liam Gallagher together. Record of the week. I think it's great. If you do switch on, you'll be able to see and hear the lovely voice of the very talented thespian that is James Buckley. Yay! Hello. Hi, hey, James. Is that it? <laughs> That's After it. That brilliant intro. I know. Yeah. This Hello. All right. right. Well, you said everything I was going to say about myself already, oh, so... Right, fair enough. How are you? I'm good. How are you? got so many questions for you. I'm good. I'm very good. I'm COVID-free. Brilliant. Can't get it. Can't get COVID. I've got, I've got immunity. You've got immunity? Yeah. To COVID? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> have you had it? Uh, I have had it, yeah. How was it for you? It was really rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Missy's got it. Uh, um, but obviously... From you... Yeah, I'd assume yeah. so. I hope. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So. Let's not tug at that thread. Um, but I uh... are there th are there are there jobs that you would like to do because you think as an actor it would be an amazing challenge. It would be it really test you. And but do you also have jobs that you just want to be in it because you love it? Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know if ju if. Barbara Broccoli if James Bond turned up and yeah. went mm. do you want to be an extra I'd go yeah <laughs> oh good I think you could be a good baddie a good <laughs> I don't think I'm Not very a good baddie you know what I mean a bad... I think you'd, you'd, you'd play an excellent baddie in a Bond film uh, I think you've got to be am I scary enough I've never scared I think anyone you, I think you could be you can't even scare a pigeon <laughs> and I've also got a real curveball one for you yeah and I mean this go from on. the bottom of my heart I think you could be a British Jason Bourne. A British oh. Jason Bourne. I do. I do. I see it. <laughs> I don't really move that much. Yeah, but you're <laughs> acting love. <laughs> okay. It's you. Big hit around the world. Three or four series, films of them over the next 15 years. Absolutely brilliant, yeah. I'll take that in a heartbeat, yeah. Bit, yeah. All right. Right, Let's we get just, it done. We just yeah. need to write it. <laughs> yeah, write it, get it. Yeah. Sell it. Absolutely. Get the financial backing for it, and we are ready to go. But it's halfway there, really. <laughs> but at the moment, uh, you are... At the Gilgood Theatre? Yeah. Now, oh, that's proper posh, though. It, yeah. They, they don't do panto, do they? No. What is the what is the play? Um, it's 2.22 A Ghost Story at right. the Gilgood. Just two minutes away from here, isn't mm. it? Um, and it's, uh, it's so fun. It is so fun. I mean, I've said this before. When I think of a play, mm. I think of being dragged to the theatre, to some local theatre, <laughs> watching something bored out of me nut. Um, but this is... <clears throat> The way I would describe this is like, it's like a movie, but on stage. Great. There's something interesting all the time. It's never boring. It's really creepy. It's really spooky. It will make you jump. You know, if, you, if you've got a drink, people do spill them all over themselves and stuff like that. It's just really, really great fun. Um, I'm and, sold. Yeah, I was going yeah. to say, I, I, I want to go. Me. We've had a few texts in about it as well. Yeah, people know. have seen it, love yeah. it. Yeah. There you are. Um, it is running until the 12th of February, so you've got another month if you want to go and see it. Is that right? Yeah, uh, yeah sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go? Shall we go as a team? Let's yeah, go. That's a great 222, idea. a ghost story. I'll go and see it. Yeah. We'll go and see it. Oh, Definitely. Listen, I've got an in. So, yeah. you know. You know someone. You yeah, know I've someone, got 10% yeah. off. So. 10? Whoa. Well, hello. It's yeah. the deal of a lifetime. So let me book them. <laughs> And then, and then obviously pay me later. But, yeah, um, of course. Yeah. Leave it with me. <laughs> I'm a powerful man in the West End these yeah. days. You've got the YouTube stuff, the YouTube channel, which, again, that, that ain't shabby. How many subscribers have you got? Over 100,000, I think. I think which, it's which, well which, over 100,000. Which isn't... You know, it's not like the big boys. No, but that's that's still big numbers, though, isn't it, for YouTube, I think? You, can I plug the YouTube Yeah, yeah of course, you can do whatever you want. At Home with the Buckleys. It's called what? At Home with the Buckleys. That took all of ten seconds to come up with. That's a good name. And um, obviously it was just something that we started, me and my wife started during lockdown, And um, but it's actually just becoming a thing that we quite like doing, and we want to grow, and we're sort of enjoying doing that at the yeah. moment. Um, but go and check it out. It is. People seem to enjoy it. Well, listen, if you want to see James um, in 222, A Ghost Story, in London, it's running until the 12th of February at the Gilgood Theatre. So go in, get some tickets for that. Treat yourself to a trip to London. Or you can watch At Home with the Buckleys on YouTube.
Yeah, you'd be sick of me. Lovely to see you. Thanks so much for having me in. Listen, anytime. Really appreciate it. Anytime. Thanks, man. And love to the family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, James. Mr. James Buckley. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. All right, leaving global now. Really great fun. Big respect to Chris Mills. Lovely, lovely guy, and the rest of the gang as well. They're great. But I'm back in the hotel now. What is it? Nine o'clock in the morning. See, the thing is, I'm up now. I'm up and I'm up, I'm up and about. The problem is, is that I'm going to be knackered when it comes to doing the show. So I think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get back in my PJs and uh, see if I can just get an hour or two's kip so that I've got the energy and I can do my show tonight. Oh dear. Strange old life, isn't it? It's two o'clock. Checked out of my hotel, headed back to the theatre. This is where I'm working at the moment. 2.22. Theatre's great! House full? Surely not. Um, but yeah, I've got about five and a half hours before I've got to do this show, so uh, I'm going to chuck some stuff in my dressing room, go for a little wander and find somewhere to eat. I don't know, just, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do myself pretty much all day now. I don't even know if the dressing room's open or if the stage door's open or something. I hope it is because I've got a bag here that I need to get rid of. Made it to my dressing room. Um, this is going to be me for the next few hours. If I do anything interesting, I'll, uh, I'll let you know.